guys, welcome back to You Volunteer. Emily here, or should I say the hands and voice of Emily. Today for Arts and Craft Week, I'm going to be making a craft with melting beads. So for this craft, you're going to need a pegboard to make your design on. You're going to need melting beads or perler beads. And you're also gonna need some parchment paper. And then our last step, you will need an iron. So let's get started. So once you have completed putting your beads on the board, this is where the iron comes into play. So you're going to need your iron, your design, and your paper that you're going to be using. So what you do is you put the paper over top of your design and you wait till the iron's warm. And then you put the iron directly over the paper onto your beads. And just circle around like you were ironing uh, some clothing. that's about what you want it to look like um, as far as it being melted for one side. So now that you've melted one side of your beads, you're going to peel, you're going to flip it over and take off your, your pegboard. You don't need that anymore. Careful, the pegboard will be hot. So now what I like to do is you have an exposed side. I usually flip over the paper and I melt the other side now. When you think that both sides are melted to what you would like, you can peel back the paper and careful because it will be hot. So here it is guys, the finished product. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, it was really fun to get to do melting beads again. It was definitely a blast from the past. I had melting beads growing up as a kid but hadn't done them in a while so this was fun to do. If you have ever done melting beads before, leave me a comment down below telling me about it and what your favorite shape or design was to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to You Volunteer. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.